My name is Fred Cabanas. We're in beautiful Key West, Florida. I uh, operate Cabanas Aerobatics and the Conk Republic biplane rides. My family's been here since 1872. I'm a fourth generation Conk, and my son Raymond is, and my, my daughter are fifth generations. Well, let me tell you about my first airplane ride. When I was a kid, like 12 years old, I'd, I spent all my summers in South Carolina for two or three weeks. I snuck out to the airport, which was about three miles from my granddaddy's farm. They were old dirt, dirt farmers, nothing fancy. And uh, I had five bucks saved up. And so I went there and it said, airplane rides, five bucks. And a J5. And we flew around my granddaddy's house because he knew where it was. And I came home about two hours later and I said, did you see me up in the, the, in the air? And he said, yeah, we seen some airplane. I said, yeah, that was me. And this guy, Bob, never forget it. Dad beat the hell out of me. You shouldn't go on a damn airplane, they're dangerous. And when he did that, it sort of sealed the fate that I was gonna fly. Cause you know when they tell you not to do something, you're gonna do it. So uh, started hanging around at the airport here at about 15 and a half years old. And saved all my money, I'd cut grass and, and finally got to solo. And uh, the guy that I soloed with was Del Vestal. It only took me like seven or eight hours and now they make you fly 20 hours with all the crap you gotta go through. And I ran into an old guy named Tony that used to live in Marathon, and at that time, the FBO <clears throat> was Marathon in Key West, and he worked as a fueler, he's an old guy. And I was probably at about 15 hours, and we're flying up there to drop him off. And uh, he says, you ever done a snap roll? And I was in a straight tail 150. And I said, no. He says, well, you know, let me show you. So we slowed it down, pulled back on the stick, kicked the rudder, and snapped around. I says, cool. I dropped him off in Marathon and snapped rolled all the way home. So I knew I loved aerobatics at that moment. And uh, finally, I got out of high school, finally, and uh, went to Emory-Riddle and got my a and license and took up aerobatic training at, at about 19 and a half years old. And uh, that was the most fun. I don't see why anybody should fly straight and level. It's just boring. You fly upside down, doing loops and rolls. That's, it's, it's beautiful. Flying to me is freedom. You really ain't got many rules. You can't go uh, over 250 knots below 10,000 feet. You can't do aerobatics in the control zone. We have an aerobatic box. I'm allowed to do anything I want in a 3,000 foot area, which is fantastic. So to me, it's freedom. And your cell phone, you don't have to answer it. And you ain't got to text anybody. And I hate texting any damn way. I have uh, 27,000 hours, which equates to three and a half years in the year. I got the qualifications. And I, what I do is I take care of the guys that don't have the experience with these airplanes. And God bless them, because without their money and my talent, these airplanes wouldn't be going to air shows. The ultimate for any air show pilot or any pilot that's a real professional that loves excitement is air racing. And I had the uh, fortune of racing in 2005, seven, eight, and nine, and won the bronze in 09. And uh, it is nothing more exciting than, than air racing. I ferried an AD-1 Sky Raider, 3,000 horsepower single engine fighter bomber from south of Lyon, France, to Bessemer, Alabama, just outside of Birmingham. The airplane was all original, 1952, and the damn thing uh, didn't have an instrument panel to fly IFR, so I had to use visual flight rules, and it was icing from 1,000 feet to 14,000 feet, and I had no icing equipment, so I, I got pictures 500 miles off the coast out in the middle of the North Atlantic at 100 feet, which was legal, but it was, you know, you look down and see icebergs floating. When you're a Key West boy, that's not cool. People come to Key West for four things. They come to dive, they come to drink, they come to fly, and they come to fuck. Welcome to Key West. People of Key West, don't judge anybody for anything. We don't care what you do, as long as you don't hurt anybody. Well, the Conk Republic Air Force is part of the Conk Republic. The Conk Republic was uh, created in 1982 when the U.S. government put a roadblock on our highway and it killed our tourism. So our mayor got his little cap pistol and declared war in the United States, and then he surrendered and asked for a billion dollars in aid. That's in a nutshell. I'm the general of the Conk Republic because in 1992, a Cuban MiG was defecting, a MiG-23 from Havana. 
which only took him six minutes to get from Havana to here. And I was out in pits with a student doing some landings. And uh, I seen this jet coming at me with black smoke. And our airplanes don't have black smoke. And it was a, a MiG-23. And he went right over my head, missed me about 200 feet. What a noise. And uh, I seen the Cuban flag on the bottom of his left wing. And I called the tower. I says, a damn Cuban MiG is coming your way. And the tower says, you can't curse on the radio. I said, well, the son of a bitch is heading right for you. And he'll be there any second. Sure enough, he came and he went right by the tower, flew around the island three times, and then landed at the base. So NORAD, local radar, Homestead radar, nobody's seen this dude coming. I called it in. CNN was here the next day, big hoopla. And the mayor had a big ceremony and made me the general of the Conk Republic Air Force. I got my accommodation in there. And so I protect the skies against all evil forces.